anywhere you go, people is going to definitely be all over you. I'm talking about cracking the box. This is the acting bad crew coming through, huh? Are you into feet? Do you like guys touching your feet? After these messages, we'll be right back. It's your boy Stunner Reese, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, man, we got another beautiful day out here in the yams, man. And guys, man, we are about to get to it. We're gonna start off the vlog, man, with some workout, man. Hopefully, this motivates some of you guys to get up and get to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't slack, don't slack. Get to it, do what you need to do to become great, man. Working out is a great way to stimulate not only your body, but your mind. It increases your focus and makes you, you know what I'm saying, more ferocious. You know what I'm saying? You definitely want to be top tier every single day of your life, man. So we're about to get to it with a beautiful, beautiful workout, man. But right along with that, we got a beautiful, beautiful day out here in Miami. Y'all see, man, we got the cruise ships. Beautiful day, sunny, nice amount of clouds, just enough to give us those little shady spots where we need them. But yeah, overall, awesome, awesome day. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, I need you to do me a favor, man, because I've been looking at my statistics still. And guys, 60% of the people who watch my channel on a regular are not subscribed. So go ahead. I'm trying to get to 110,000 subscribers. And if y'all pause the video one second, I also go ahead, sign in and click that subscribe button, turn the post notifications to all you know, you can help your boy get to that 110,000 subscribers. And I appreciate that so much from all of y'all. And if you did that, make sure you definitely drop in the comments. I'm a real one because I got to know all my real ones is rocking with me. And you already know if you already subscribed, drop in the comments. I'm a real one, man. But yeah, guys, I'm about to actually meet Brat. She is going to actually come to the gym with me and work out. That's one of the things that she actually wants to start showcasing is her workout ability and you know what i'm saying do her little workouts and stuff like that so we're gonna actually you know what i'm saying just you know do a little something you know what i'm saying with her i'm gonna try to test the waters and see exactly what she do you know she just do a little fitness stuff she's more into like the the yogas and stuff like that you know what i'm saying as well so she's got like a a different little thing that she does but yeah y'all definitely make sure y'all stick around stay tuned for this whole entire video y'all know i show y'all my real life every day yesterday was definitely a lot of fun man going out there to check out nava show and uh yeah i had a whole lot of fun out there with the guys man yeah and uh y'all already seen if y'all didn't go to my patreon and see those raw and uncut versions well you definitely missing out so you definitely need to go and click the link in the description and join my patreon so you can see that raw footage man what y'all really want to see all right also guys by the time y'all see this video y'all probably only got like five six days left to get into for my maserati giveaway that's right mossberg customized wheels ground effect kit wrap and it's on air ride suspension nasty real head turner Guys, definitely go ahead, get you in, yourself entered for that giveaway as well, all right? But yeah, gang, let me go ahead, get downstairs, link up with Brett, and I'll holler at y'all. Let's get it, yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Look, they finally got the pool open. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Definitely have to check the pool out. Look all crisp and clean. Brand new. 
Alright, gang, 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 your boy's trying to reach that made it the gym. And we got the brat right there. Y'all see a man stretching. Mm -hmm. I gotta start stretching more. I just get right to it. But I'm about to ask you this. Shoulder press, 35. So she want to get on a stair climber, but somebody occupying it right now. So I'm going to have to wait for her to get that machine freed up. So what you working on today? Legs and thighs pretty much? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what's up. I'm going to probably put some legs in. I got to do some abs, some core, and uh, shoulders. Really what I'm concentrating on right now. But yeah, that's good. All right, gang. I'm about to do some.
All right, gang, about to hit some weights. Then we're going to get to some legs and abs. Two forty-five on each side. Forty-five, forty-five, ten. Yep. She ain't got on her stairmaster. She was doing some leg press, but we done with that. Get my thirty. Working out? Yeah. 
All right, y'all, I just hit that 315. I'm about to go back down to 245 and do some reps. Get a little chest pump. One more set. Let's go. Uh, final time. I'm hit this five more times and then shit. Move it on. Let's go.
onto the legs. I'm trying, I'm weak though. Long weekend, long, long weekend. But no excuses, man. Excuses don't get you excused in life, for real. So we gotta get to it, no matter what. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, round two, let's go. Three hours later. All right, gang, 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 man. Your boy Stunna Reese is finally dressed, man, and getting ready to get outside, man, and go over and meet up with Brett. That's right, man. We just had a good workout. Well, I know I had a good workout. She was playing around, really, you know what I'm saying? But hey, no, I'm just joking. No, she was doing her thing off camera. I wasn't really wasn't filming her too much. But yes, we're about to go over to South Beach in a little while and go just, you know what I'm saying, vibe out and check the vibes over there, man. But your boy Stunner Reese, man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've been going through it a little bit, y'all. Man, just trying to get everything situated, guys. I really, really, truly want to start me up another business, guys. I wanna really, I, it's been heavy on me, man, about doing this jet ski rental because I just think that it'll be something different and I really want to do something that could be some passive income, you know what I'm saying, on a regular down here in Miami that could like, you know what I'm saying, be a business that's operating and fully functional, you know, and having people have fun and, you know, I'm able to have fun with the jet skis when I'm, you know, utilizing it and things like that. Now, my only thing is, guys, the more I think about it, the more I think that it would probably be, be a better investment to invest in two at one time opposed to just one in one time because I just feel like most of the time people are gonna wanna rent two at a time. And then also, if they did only wanna, if I only wanted to rent out one, I could rent out one and then I could take the other one out to kind of like monitor them at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? So it won't be a thing where I'm just sending somebody out in the water by themselves with my property and then, you know, just coming back like that. So it's just one of those things, guys. Would it be more invest, more beneficial to get two at a time versus one mm, i don't know y'all y'all let me know what y'all think man y'all see man they, they, be, they be out there having so much fun with the jet skis man just living life man and I, out the island and everything and i just really feel like like i could be a part of that whole movement and whole business and that industry especially with me living right here you know, it's just motiv the motivation every single day to get up and want to do it is just right there. You know, I just have to find a docking area and all the other little tangibles and things like that. Now, I got to be 
upfront with y'all. I have not did any more research since the last time I told y'all about it, which I need to do. But I've got so much other little stuff, you know, with it being the first of the month and all that. You know, all the bills roll around and all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they don't want to hit no excuses about nothing. So, and then on top of that, I got to admit something to y'all. I misplaced my wallet. So with that being said, I had to cancel my debit cards and all that and all my stuff that was set up on auto pay and all that. Y'all know how that goes. You got to go and try to change all that stuff around so that it does not not get paid and things like that so you know that's just a whole nother headache on top of that on top of that my id was in there and i gotta fly back to chicago so yeah now i gotta deal with that as well so but what i was thinking about is just getting a florida id while i'm here and then utilizing that and then when i go back to chicago still give me another chicago id as well so i can have an id for florida and for chicago drop in the comments tell me what y'all think about that yeah so, with that being said, I just really want to, um, you know, just get everything sit situated so that I can really concentrate on what I need to in reference to actually getting the jet ski rental business going because, I don't know, man, I, ju I just got to see what all type of licenses and stuff and all that type of stuff that is actually needed if you need an actual location and all, you know, it's just so many different things that you have to actually know about in reference to doing that because if you don't then you can find yourself just in a whole lot of trouble you know what i'm saying where you can't even rent out your jet skis you know so you have to be very very mindful of what you got going on now what i was thinking is maybe i should just get one and just start you know just getting out and just kind of like getting into the jet ski stuff and kind of start figuring out how kind of like people doing it you know so you know and just kind of like go from there i i know the one time uh the two times that i rented jet skis here one time was right off the beach and the other time was off of like a little marina and you know i don't remember anything like feeling like shady or underhanded or whatever you know because it is some people what they saying down here that kind of like rent them under the radar and that's not what i want to do I, that's not what i want to do first of all foremost if i was to do that you know some of my haters would go and try to expose it and all that stuff you know what i'm saying and try to call into the authorities and all that stuff right off the rip anyway so definitely you know that's just not what you want. always want to do the right things right never nevertheless never the, you know no matter what you always want to do the right things right so you know that's not even an option for me. It has to be done correctly or I don't want to do it at all because I want to be able to make sure that I can continue it going, continue it going. I don't want to get in bad graces with anybody. I don't want to put no bad karma on myself or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I need all the good karma I can get in my life. So, yeah. So, but yes, I am really, really interested in starting up another business. Now, whether it's not that business or if it's something else, another business or whatever it doesn't really matter i just wanted to get something going so that i can actually you know get myself some type of extra income coming in on a regular and you know utilize this whole uh, experience of living here in miami being down here and you know um, even if i was to get another car get a car for toro or something like that something like that might even be a good investment so you know what i'm saying i need y'all to get in the comments and tell me what y'all think about that too all right because that's something else that i've really been thinking about getting a nice dependable car that people would rent out not something that's super overly uh high expensive or anything like that something that i could rent out for a rel relatively inexpensive amount per money per day and then you know just you know, turn, turn income, you know what I'm saying? Now, car rentals and Toros and stuff like that, that's a big business down here, especially with me being so close to South Beach. I think that could potentially be a very, very good idea as well, you know? So, so I don't know, guys, you know, it's just with that, you got to make sure that you don't, 
get yourself into a situation where they tearing your stuff up all the time and you constantly having to pay for repairs and stuff like that or something that is going to attract the wrong crowd that's the other thing you got to make sure you get something that's not going to attract the wrong crowd and have people you know who is into high performance and stuff like that are going to be wanting to rent your stuff out and you know potentially tear your shit up you know so yeah so it is what it is guys it really is it really truly is what it is so yeah, so with that being said, man, yeah, definitely um, got a lot on my plate, a lot on my mind in reference to what I want to do. Um, now, as far as my next giveaway car, guys, I, I have been searching uh, all day and I'm just, man, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should just not even do another giveaway or whatever for a while and just do something different because it's just I, I just don't know what they like being down here and not in my hometown Chicago it's a lot harder it's a lot harder and I'm gonna be honest with y'all whoever gets Mossberg you getting an awesome car and the thing about it is, as of right now, not even 160 people have entered for that car. So the odds of you guys getting that car is so ridiculously crazy. This is less than half of any giveaway I've ever did. Less than half as of right now. Not that many people have entered this at all. And I think that a lot of people are afraid of it because it's a Maserati. It's a foreign car it's an import you know what i'm saying it's like you know some people might be you know afraid of it but you guys got to understand you don't have to keep the car even if you got the car and sold the car you could you make a, a huge amount of money so some people might be afraid of the responsibility of owning it and that i could understand that for some people because you know when you think about owning ferraris Bentleys, Rolls Royces, and all those Highline cars, the maintenance could be potentially higher than on a regular Chevy or Ford or Dodge. So, you know, that could be the reason why a lot of y'all, but you got to understand, you get the car, you get the title, you can take that car and go sell it right then on the spot. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't have any issues with holding the car. So, I mean, really, any way it goes, if you wanted to keep the car, and enjoy it, you got yourself a Maserati for as low as 20 bucks. Or if you wanted to sell it, you got yourself potentially $20,000 for a $20 investment, you know. Now, of course, the more entries you get, the better your chances. And if you buy one of the higher packages, like the $50 package, you get 2,000 entries. If you buy the $100 uh, screensaver, you get 10,000 entries. So, I mean, of course, you know, but right now, not that many people have entered at all. It's unbelievable. Like, the chance that you guys have to get this car. Awesome, badass car. Head turner, like, anywhere you go, people is going to definitely be all over you with this car. Guys, you guys just don't even understand that. You got an opportunity to be riding like that. You guys got an opportunity to turn that car into some cash if you want, like what a lot of other people do with other people give away. So you just never know. And then the thing of it is, is a lot of other giveaways, you know, when they got 10,000 people entering, 15,000 people entering, 4,000, 6,000, you know what I'm saying? High, high, high numbers. You're talking about you versus only 160 people. That is crazy versus thousands and thousands and thousands. That is crazy. So your odds of winning is absolutely through the roof. Through the roof. It could be you. It could be you. You could be the one I could be calling on Monday because I'm actually doing a drawing on Monday. I'm going to be calling a person Monday morning. And guys, it's going to be up from there, man. Somebody gonna be taking home my Maserati Mossberg, guys. So, yeah. So, 
you know, this is the this is the one time, man. All right, if I tell y'all, if it was any giveaway, I would say get in on. I think the car is super hot, but it's not all about what I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the car is badass. I mean, it's just got so much flavor to it and so much going on. It's just a badass car. So, you know, but it is what it is, man. It ain't all about me. It ain't all about me. So, yeah. But, yeah, gang, uh, I'm about to get ready and go ahead and get dressed and go out here and go see my girl, Brett. Gonna go meet her, meet up with her, and then uh, I'll holler at y'all in a little while. Let's get yeah. Squizzy mix. It's your boy Stunner Mix, man. Follow me on the Squizzy Mix. What in the hell is a Squizzy Mix?
parking lot. I know some of y'all love those. So you know your boy Stunner is gonna always show everything some love. You feel me? Ain't about me all the time. But yeah, gang, y'all know what it is, man. Your boy Stunner Reese, man, outside. Got Brad in the car with me. She looking all nice. Drop in the comments. Let me know how nice she look. Yep, but anyway, yeah, gang, y'all just definitely, man, make sure y'all show my girl Brad some love. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, gang, we uh just made it over here to South Beach side. I got a little content kicking it off with the drone. Not the drone, but my GoPro. Yeah, I got my GoPro up, so I got a little ride through footage. Got a convertible vet right here. We got the people walking. <laughs> we got her putting on lip gloss again. We got him eating his uh, corn uh, goblet. Yeah, so yeah. Corn goblet? Yep. Corn goblet. What's a goblet? Well, he just had in that cup. It was a corn goblet. I've never heard of that. You ain't never heard of concha and corn goblets down here? Conch. Conch. Conch, conch. conch and corn goblets. I don't know corn goblet. Yeah. That's Miami's. Miami love they conch and they love they corn goblets. You know, I want a little corn goblet in your life. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, gang, we finna uh, find a quick little park, man. I'm actually thirsty as hell, so I'm gonna go to see this, give me something to drink. I wanted to bring my water, but I had left it out and it got hot as hell. So, yeah. But yeah, gang, we uh, just about to go out and check the vibes out here on South Beach, man. It really ain't too much going on today. This dude right here about to get hit. He was definitely about to get hit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> huh? Because he was about to get hit. He was laughing. Huh? She mean. She mean, y'all. She was laughing at the man about to get hit. Laughing at him. Mean, mean, mean. Mean girl. What you looking at, BMW man? You're a mean boy, mean man. Huh? A mean man. Who's a mean man? You, why are you calling for that BMW? Nah, he uh, looking all in the car at you, trying to see how you look. Get off my assistant. <laughs> Get off my assistant. She already taken. Already taken. No, no, no. She can't get no more assistance because she already assisted. You already assisted? That's the sting. Huh? That's the sting. I'm not the one being assisted. I'm assisting. Well, you're I'm you're being assisted. All right. So, nobody else needs assisting. I don't know. That word started to bother me now. What word? This is this is thing. You worried about the word assistant? No, because I keep on saying it. Whenever I say words so many times, I just feel like, uh, like. You get, you get aggravated. Oh, yeah, I kind of don't like how. You get aggravated. Oh, they got their gallery on. They, they're doing they thizzle, huh? That's tweaked the gallery. Doing a thizzle. Cut. Mackie. All right, gang, 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 gang. Your boy Stone Reese just got through doing a little bit of working out at Muscle Beach. Yeah, I did a little something light, slight, you know what I'm saying? And got my focus together. So, yeah, it was good. Good energy. About to get back on my serious regimen get my focus back together with that shit so y'all know that's gonna be coming on the channel 
also man your boy stone has been looking for another car y'all like crazy i've been all on car gurus all on facebook marketplace all on off up trying to find something but man it's hard because i don't know if i should try to get something in chicago or just try to get something else out here in miami so undecided so i gotta make that decision and what i can find now as far as old schools out here in miami it's a lot harder to come across them out here than it is in chicago i know that sound crazy i know that sound ass backwards but it's true man chicago got more old schools for sale than miami it just is man anytime you go to a car show in miami it's like probably one or two cars for sale but you go to a car show in chicago it's normally like a big ass group of cars all got for sale signs all over them everybody trying to dump them shits you know what i'm saying so it's just more abundance and then you got people like mr 75 caprice who always got inventory stocked up in chicago or joliet and things like that too so it just makes sometimes he do a, a lot of the work for you the leg work and you just come and cash out but yeah but yeah gang your boy son has been looking man all day trying to find a car it's so, so frustrating. I am not gonna lie to you. So, we're gonna see what we end up with. <sighs> just hard, man, just hard. Also, man, it's actually a pretty nice night out here. I ain't gonna lie, the weather is awesome. It really is. People out, you know, we ain't got too much action action. It's, it's the, you know what I'm saying? The other, the other people out really today, you know what I'm saying? The lit people, the lit crowd ain't out today. I know that's what y'all be want to see, but it just ain't out today, is it? Yeah. So we just got to, you know what I'm saying? Wait till we get some action, y'all, cause it ain't no action right now. But what y'all see? Yeah, this is as much action as y'all getting right now. None. None. But yeah. But yeah, gang, I'll holler at y'all, man, once I get to some, some cars or something. It's just, it's just one of them nights, man. It's Tuesday night. Y'all know. Oh, shit, we got my boy Giga. My boy. Big cooling, what's good with it? Chilling, chilling. What's on? Bobby, man, just out here getting to it, man. Yeah? How, how is it? I'm up, man, some more. Oh, you came up? The last two days, I lost. Okay. But we got some shit cooking up right now, so it's like, you gotta, you're gonna win some and lose some. Oh, absolutely. I'm still up, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Time, bro, bro, I got the thing on the app. You vlogging right now, right? Yeah, I'm vlogging. All right, so if y'all not hip, if you have the opportunity to bet on sports betting, try it. Like 10 bucks. Understand it, get the app downloaded. It's more flexible. Because at the casino, they have your $20 minimum. Mm -hmm. So you could the most, well actually the least you could put to make a is 20. twenty bucks. But on the app, on the app you can do one dollar. Suppose you turn it one to a thousand. A dollar into a thousand. Try it out, you know. Yeah. Think of all the stuff you spend ten bucks on. You know what I mean? A lot, a lot. Too much. So how you been doing out here today? It's been action out here. Some bread, man. Yeah, it's surprising me. Yeah. For real? Somebody, yeah, they pulled. We ain't seen shit. I know. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not like much motion. But, yeah, yeah. You know, I guess somebody wanted to flick up. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. They paid the nice fee and uh, I'm chilling. Just waiting on these games to end. Man. Okay, up okay. Though, man? Yeah, we just fun. been out here, man. We just walked to the Muscle Beach. I did a little workout. Well, I was trying to see if I kind of seen some action out here. But yeah, nah, it's a, it's a tourist day. It's definitely an overly tourist day. And yeah. not none of the action-packed I mean, tourists. It is a, yeah, no action-packed tourists. Nah, they chilling. They're trying to get uh, their tan in. Uh, it's it's uh, nuns, all nuns out here today. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's all nuns out here today. I think I only seen one twerk. <laughs> I That's... ain't seen a, I ain't seen a leg yeah, shake. Driving. You know that little. I ain't <laughs> seen a leg shake on yeah. accident. Yeah. yeah. Like handicapped leg. Yeah, I ain't seen a, a nothing. Yeah. I ain't seen a motherfucker shake a noodle. Yeah, these folks lazy. Today. Yeah, yeah. They're not really active. Right, so we we do got some slingshots coming down and look like a Lamborghini behind that. So I'm gonna get y'all a look a look content right now. You know what's crazy? I met one of my subscribers out here, bro. Oh wow! Like recently, 
today. That's crazy. Yeah, but my other channel, it's not the street world live, but you know, you know. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but I've been watching for years. Okay, okay. Okay. That's, that's about as much action y'all get. But hold on, I got a lamb for y'all too, y'all. They might be coming out. I got a lamb for y'all. Bring out the lamb. Got the lamb chop for y'all. Lamb choppy the chop 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 chop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Hold on, we got something right here. Oh no, that wasn't no action. Yeah, yeah. I into, man. Nah, man. Shit. Yeah, just looking for some content. Shit. I'm telling you, man. Trying to see what I can see. Yeah. When I can see it. Gotta wait till probably Thursday and then the weekend after. You know how it is. Yeah, tomorrow. That's yeah, Friday. that's how it always is. Every day is always something happens. That's just how South Beach is, man. You just never, ever, ever know. So you like just gotta. Box of yeah, it's like a box of crack. What was it? Cracking a box? What did you say, nigga? Jack in the box. Remember? You said crack in the box. What was it? it was, yeah, crack in the box. Crack yeah. The box. Hey, that was the Chicago version. White. That was the Chicago version. Type shit. But anyway, Jack in the box, y'all. Y'all know y'all, you know, since you dig your hand in the popcorn, you know what I'm saying, with the popcorn, caramel, and the peanuts. And you just look for the little prize in the box. You feel me? Remember when they used to have prizes in cereal? You don't probably remember that. No, I, I remember that. Yeah. They used to have You know you don't remember that. I Stop swear lying. to God, I remember getting a little lifesaver in my, bo my, my box of um, pops. You know what that, that is? Pops. It's cereal? like. Yes. Yeah. It's like little. Little corn cereals, it's yeah, yellow. Those were the days, man. The right. Days going broke. They I got those. Nothing. Yeah. To eat my cereal with. They got um. They used to have like. I think they still do it, but like the toys from McDonald's that Happy Meals. Yeah. Well, they still. They still do that. Yeah. yeah, but. Well, I'm talking about cracking the box. Right. No, <laughs> no cracking the box. <laughs> <laughs> no crack That's the Chicago version of Jack in the Box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they should go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, gang, man, that's what it is, man. But we just out here trying to vibe a little bit. Trying Same, to, man. Trying to see what we see when we see it. Trying to see, hopefully we can get a little twerk or something out here. You know what I'm saying? We might have to get my assistant to twerk. Come on, let me get a twerk. There we go. All right. There we go. Some, you know, for the folks. Yeah, there we go. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sound like a, he stepped, he sound like he's scary. He stepped on a hamster. Oh, real life cat call. He sound like he stepped on a hamster and shit. All right, y'all. Y'all stick around, stay tuned. Y'all already know I'm gonna turn this motherfucking back on, man. As soon as I get some action, let's get it. Assistant. Yeah. Ooh, he he chirped that blurp that blurp that thing for you one time for the one time. Did you hear him? He was like, rrr, rrr, I'm trying to impress you. Was you impressed? No. Were you entertained? No. Were you not entertained? <laughs> look, look, look. He going crazy for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me, let me rev it up some more. See if they hear me. Right, right. He was trying to see. So I think we got to do, what we got to do, man, we got to ask some people some questions out here tonight. Because I think that's the only way we're going to get oh, some entertainment. Right. Most people that come around and be like, hey, I'm going to be in a video doing a case study. Case study. Okay, what's the question? Case study, yeah. What kind of question? Ask them if they're working for Are you into feet? Oh, that's a good question. Are you into feet? Are you into feet? Hey, y'all hey, got bad. an answer for that? <laughs> y'all got an answer? We doing a, uh, a, a, a brief you like a study. Yeah, you like feet? <laughs> are you into feet? So my, my girl don't let me even touch a feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, but do you want so to? I, are they I straight? Don't know. You don't know if you want to touch her feet. Take care. She don't. Let, she don't always wear socks or something. She always got socks on. Damn, that's she crazy. She might got extra toes. No, she always got her toes on. That always look good. She's always got socks on. What? Yeah, She's crazy. But why she won't let you touch her feet, bro? See, this is stuff. I, I wish I could. She is tingling. Yeah, you ain't. Hey. Yeah, that might be it. You might have to tingle one time. Nah, I'm gonna have to get her on guard, right? Right? Off guard, right? Hey, okay. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate the fight, yo. For sure, for sure. Do you like guys touching your feet? 
<laughs> you don't know that. Uh, <laughs> I might a little bit. Just a little, like a little bit. Sucky, sucky. What did you say, nigga? What are you talking about? Yep. Just ask some people random questions. Brat and giggle. Keep on calling me Brat. My name's Sarah. All right. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, so you do have to actually, I think you got to fill out something. At what, what, at what they amount say, does it say? It's on like the wins. You know? So it doesn't give the amount? Because I know at it's certain, like in Illinois, at a certain amount, you got to, you got to fill out a 1099. Whether you receive a 1099 or W2G from a casino poker room, you have a legal obligation. Or well, you got to pay taxes. Right. Right. And that's that. If you were business owner. Right. Uh, yeah, you can't that. You hit big, you know. Would you ever let a guy take pictures of your feet? <laughs> if I'm getting <laughs> some money off of it. Yeah. Really? How much? How much would a guy have to pay you to take $200. pictures? $200. 200 Hey, no lie. For a little pic. It was this chick at my um, job way back, a long time ago. She said a dude paid her a band. Yeah. She used to, like, I guess, play with her feet or something. Or just, yeah, that's big. My nigga Woo, oh, what's Big Woo. Y'all already know, man, the realest niggas doing it out yes, here, man. So yes, sir, my brother. Hey, see, when we put the speak on, it make the girls start busting it. Ooh. And it's a track money. Type, now type. I know why New York niggas had this shit in the 80s, dog. Type, because type. All them dumb boys ain't money off this motherfucker. It's my boombox. That's true. All right, Woo. Love, brother, love. Love. Yeah. My nigga Woo out here. Ladies, ladies. One of them will do. Yeah, no. That's, that's, that's Buddy. Yeah, that's yeah. Buddy. Hey, we don't rock with no Buddy. <laughs> yeah, like that's... The ladies with the good cutting. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. Nah, that was Buddy. That he was a uh, perpetrator. Yeah, he trying to infiltrate. Yeah, he definitely was trying to infiltrate. Definitely infiltrate. He trying to get somebody to touch. I don't know why ladies be doing that. Like, we be having one gay dude in the group. I know, right? Like, just get a real man. If you want security. <laughs> Cully. Lamb chop. Okay, they trying to come through a little bit. Okay. Rari. Okay. Okay, so this is the Akin Bad crew coming through, huh? Akin Bad crew coming through. Another Rari. Okay. Okay. Akin Bad crew coming through. Thank you, assistant. Good assistant right there. Yeah, good assistant. That's for real, man. Every guy needs an assistant, for real. Right. <laughs> Every guy needs a good assistant. Yeah, I'm keep on doing it right in my face. Jesus. Good assistant. Great assistant. Huh? Great assistant. Great assistant, yep. Well, Dang. cut. Put you in the ICU, like. Let's see if I can get it this time. This the same one? No, this is a different one, ain't it? What's this? It's, it's. Speed up. Yeah. You betting on that game? All right, y'all. Back on the move, man. We done lost Giga. He had to take care of some business. So it's just me and Brat right now. Taking a little strino. Trying not to split the pinno. You feel me? Uh, Y'all know I will never film here. No, no, no. We ain't filming here. I don't think I'm getting a charger. Yeah, Y'all tired of chargers yet? Drop in the comments. What y'all think about the charger? 
I'll tie the charges. They all want another charger for the next giveaway car. Drop in the comments, let a nigga know. Let a nigga know. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. I say let's do something different. But I want to see what y'all got to say, man. Would y'all be interested in another Charger or Challenger giveaway? What'd you say? Charger, Challenger giveaway? I say no. Nah, nah. All right, gang. Uh, let me uh, get back to Ocean. And I'll cut the camera back on if we get some more motion that way. All right, gang. Here's your opportunity to win my custom. Maserati Ghibli, AKA Mossberg. All you gotta do to get entered is to buy one of my screensavers. And yes, my Maserati could be yours. The car is sitting on a custom air ride. The car has a ground effect kit, spoiler, rear window spoiler, custom wheels, and a custom wrap designed by me. All you gotta do is click the link and grab your interest today. and You could be going home with this customized Maserati Ghibli sitting on air ride. Get entered today. Let's go. Click the link in the description. You are checking out the Galati Black Collection. It is the luxury trapper apparel. Trapper means take risk and prosper. This is a streetwear brand. This is a street fashion brand. Built for any occasions, clubs, Party. We got many different styles to choose from. Make sure you go and grab your Galati Black apparel today. Visit us at www.stunneracement.com. When y'all need streets, you want to stay dangerous. Make sure you do it with Galati Black. Make sure you click the link in the description and grab yours today. You will be entered to win a round trip ticket and a hotel stay. Hang out with Stunner Reese on New Year's Eve with any Galati Black purchase. Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> That's different. Couple boats, plug it in, plug and play, super simple. Running the rest like I want them. Counting the rest, we're going to want them. Carrots, I want them.